Welcome back. We have returned. This is the IRS Radio Hour on AM 560, The The Answer. Answer. I'm here with the group, Deborah Schreiner and Jim Leahy, and we're going to do something on this segment that we don't generally do. No, we do it all the time. This is the... This is the blog segment. It's the blog segment. The blog. The blog. And if you know what that sound is, ladies and gentlemen, for you all, you avid IRS Radio Hour fans, it is the blog segment where Attorney Leahy gives his insight and reads his blog. Yes. On- now, I remember last week I did talk to, to I did tell you about the new newsletter, the new newsletter that I'm coming, that's coming out. It's paper. It's not I a, did want to say, not too, email. before we continue, is that, ladies and gentlemen, tax season is coming to a close. It is. And you have limited amount of time for this opportunity. If you are trying to do your tax returns, bring in a receipt. Mm-hmm. Call Open Tax Resolution 312-664-6649, and that's a receipt from last year, and mention the show, and you will get your tax returns done half right. off from last year. Absolutely right. Time is running out. It is crucial to get it done now. You are absolutely right. Now, I, I did mention this before, and I'm going to do it again. 312-664-6649. I, you, want, I like interrupting. I understand. You. I'm sorry. And you're doing a very good job. Uh, <laughs> what I wanted to point out, Sassafras. too. Sassafras. <laughs> just because. If, just can because, I finish? Can <laughs> I finish? Can I finish? <laughs> just because you haven't filed your tax returns in the past. So I've had a lot of people in the last month who've come to me, and they've had four or five years that they haven't filed. And sometimes, and some of these people, several, have a refund due every year, right? So if you if you come back, if we go past June 18th, remember, it's going to be June, I mean, April 18th, not June 18th, April 18th this year, not April 15th, because of the, we went through this a couple of weeks ago, because of the, the holiday in uh, Emancipation Day in, in Washington, the, the filing date's April 18th. If you go beyond April 18th and you have a refund from 2013, you're not going to get it. Okay, so so we could do your 2013 tax return, too, and get you that refund wow. that you wouldn't otherwise get. You're not going to get that opportunity Absolutely anywhere true. else. Absolutely true. Absolutely. So, so let's, th- let's go into okay, what this we were week, talking about. This week, I, wanted to t- I got an uh, email from the IRS, and they, were t- they, were, they have a new uh, statistics a report out there talking about their what's going on and because the IRS is full of statistics, they know they they put all these numbers together. They are number crunchers extraordinaire, right? They have all they've been going back for years and years. For instance, one of the things is when you're going to get audited is if you're if you are in an industry and you have more deductions than everybody else in your industry, well, they're gonna they know that, and they're you're you're outside the that. Uh, um, the average, and they're gonna. It's gonna be a red flag, and they're gonna look at your tax return. Now, I read an article, and I'm just gonna mention this because I'm gonna talk about electronic filing. But first, I want to talk about the IRS budget. And Jim and I, we talk about this budget all the time because right, Trump wants to cut the budget again, and everybody's up in arms. Oh my, how are you gonna cut? What the- is the IRS budget? Well, that's a very good question, Jim. And the, he wants to, he being president, President El Trumpo, he wants to he wants to cl- uh, reduce their budget. Again again or maybe not increase it again it's okay again this is their budget now get ready it's 12.7 billion dollars a year billion billion and they can't answer your phone call because they don't have enough money they say and this is what really gets me and they're well you know it's less than they got in 2014 it's less you know in real money it's less so how are they going to do more with less and what I wanted, I, I, this always irks me because everybody knows what's going on with with electronic filing. Yeah. Okay. It's not so a new concept. It, it is not a new concept. And one of the numbers that came out is what's going on with the electronic filing and the numbers. Okay. So obviously we're not done yet in the uh, for the year tax year, but in 2016, right coming up, compared. Uh, the numbers are 95% of all the ta- tax returns that have been processed have been processed electronically. Now, before we do that, let's remember what it, co- what it takes to, to uh, process, a, a, um, pr- uh, process a tax return by hand. And this is from a 2003 video from the IRS, and I wanted to play this. Let's review the pipeline process. Mail is opened. Returns are sorted and payments are deposited. 
the returns are coded, edited, and numbered. Return data is entered into the computer. Validity checks are run and errors are corrected. Valid transactions are then posted to the IRS master file. Refunds or balance due notices are issued to the taxpayer. The paper returns are retired to federal record centers. <laughs> so this is what it, that, that if you're what not it costs. Asleep. That, that's good, but this is what it takes. To, it was so uh, it was so uh, manpower centric. It take people to do this. Oh, yeah, they had the machine to open up the mail, but someone still had to take it and look at it, bundle them all together. They even to just store these things is amazing. And to put one per when they take your your uh, when they took your return, they there was a, a data processor entry data, and they would take your return and, and add it and put it in electronically by themselves and then they would send it to somebody a second person and they would put it in two just to make sure it was accurate okay so i've i've read this uh, article uh, you know saying the best thing to do if you want to avoid a tax uh, audit is not to file electronically to file um but to file paper and because the reason was well if i give it to them electronically they can data mine it uh, very easily and that's true. They can data them. But as I just pointed out, they put they take your return. They put it all in the computer anyway. anyway. And it's, so it doesn't really matter. But the point is, is that now there's here's here's the IRS's own uh, take on electronic filing. And I wanted to play this. E-file, the service's electronic alternative to paper tax returns, bypasses most of the pipeline process. Taxpayers can use a tax preparation service or software on their personal computer to file their taxes electronically. Since return information is already computer formatted, the IRS can quickly and efficiently check for errors and transmit the data to either the Martinsburg Computing Center for posting to the master file or to the preparer for correction. E-file saves both the service and the taxpayer a lot of time and effort. So unbelievable. Look, I'll give the IRS this, even though we rip on them a lot. They do a very good job at keeping those all that information in the one spot. They do a very good job at sort. At, 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 I couldn't have. I How agree. Do you think of but like at that? twelve billion dollars a year, I agree. And fifty or sixty some years now to build the system that they have. Yes, I mean it's not like twelve the, billion dollars seems a little excessive. Every year, the IRS, like the EPA, the IRS, a bunch of other government agencies, they have their own SWAT teams. I, for God's sake, I understand. Sakes. But this is my maybe point. not the IRS. No, I they do have. The, they do. They do. Yes. Do they? Yes, they okay. do. Then they do. So, then that's but, ridiculous. But here's where here's where this comes in. Okay, and this is what gets me so angry is that in nineteen. In 2011, something like um, 66%. In 2006, 25% were done electronically. So from 2011 to, to 2017, now, we, we're 95% are done electronically. Think of all the, the money and the time, the, the man hours that are saved doing it electronically that used to be done. Where's all that savings coming coming from? And why is it point. that they can't answer our phones, but the, you know, but they where's all the savings going? It's going nowhere. There is no savings. One of the things that I have to agree with Congress what they're doing. Yes, they're cutting the the budget of the IRS. But one thing they're doing is they're appropriating money separately. So when you look at the IRS budget, it's really not all the money that they get. The so the Congress is saying, "Okay, we'll give you money for answering phone calls, for instance, because now the Congress is getting more involved in exactly what the IRS spends their money in. Because remember, we've had this, what the IRS spends their money on and these these creepy uh, conferences that they have and the billions of dollars that they waste. I know. So Congress is now taking an active role and telling them what they can spend money on and what they can't, and maybe not targeting individuals. So use your money to pro- to process and go after uh, tax sc- scoff laws, but don't use it to go after your political enemies. Agreed. And ladies and gentlemen, open I, ta- Oh, it gets me oh, angry, it gets you, It gets you oh, going. Tax, uh, tax problems get you going, and that's why open tax resolution is the best outfit there is for helping you get on the roadmap to financial success. Remember, OPM Tax Resolution 312-664-6649 or visit ChicagoTaxTeam.com. That's going to be your hub to help fight the IRS. Watch or go on the blog. You get the blog report. You can watch previous videos. So sign up for the newsletter. Answer your question this show. You can probably find an answer on previous shows. Now, ladies and gentlemen, with that information... 
Stay tuned because after a word from our sponsors, we're coming right back here on the IRS Radio Hour on AM 560. The answer. 